Well, as of this time tomorrow, some of us may be wishing it were spring. Evan Dawson certainly will. He always does. He's an avid golfer, as you know. And yesterday, he had a chance to talk to a pro golfer who was with a movie star, that movie star Luke Wilson. They were on a satellite promotional tour, and Evan talked to them about their tour, the writer's strike, and their golf games. Johan, by the way, the golfer is Swedish, and you'll see ugh, Evan show off a bit here when he says hello. I know you've been uh, doing this probably for a while. I'll try to go easy on you. No, we haven't. We're, this, is the this is the first of the day. <laughs> <laughs> That's the right answer. Uh, well, good morning. Good uh, morning, Johan. Yeah, more yet, bro. Thank you so much. Yeah, and uh, this morning, uh, what are you doing now? <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. You know, hela så att det svenska. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to throw as much Swedish as I can. What are you guys up to? Are you working together? How did you guys come to work together? Uh, Puma had just gotten in touch with us, and I, they, um, you know, Johan obviously being a pro, he was a good person to talk to and good fashion sense, and then me just kind of being an actor and a golfer i think they thought we'd be a good match to try and put this line of golf clothes together stuff that's you know functional but also kind of fun to wear stuff that you know you can wear on and off off the golf course <laughs> look we can be honest johan's a good uh, looking guy isn't he very <laughs> johan what, what is the deal why are europeans uh, jesper parnovic uh, ian poulter paul casey why are europeans such better dressers than americans well i guess uh Oh, in Sweden, it's, it's a really big fashion country, really. I mean, a lot of fashion coming come out of, of Sweden. So I've always been interested in, in uh, fashion and clothing. So uh, I guess it comes, comes pretty natural for, for us Swedes and the Italians are, has always been uh, really had a big fashion sense. So uh, I think uh, America is, is slowly catching on. So uh, <laughs> We're trying to catch up here. Uh, and guys, I know this is a time of year where people are you know, they're buying holiday gifts and they, they don't want to just buy clothes to buy clothes, but I actually thought about buying my father some new golf shirts that were a little bit more stylish. You uh -huh. think this is, a, this is a, a good time to think about that? Definitely. Uh, well, this doesn't come out till April, unfortunately, oh. but uh, there's, there, there's other Puma stuff you can yeah. get them. And, uh, yeah, I do the same for my dad. I try and kind of keep them in this century. Keep them modern, clothes right? Clothes-wise, yeah. yeah. Luke, what's your handicap? I'm um, an 11, I think. You're, you're a real 11 or a supposed 11? You're real yeah, I mean, most uh, honestly, when I play with my friends, we usually just play head up and don't give strokes, but we're not usually playing with pros. But yeah, I yeah. think I'm on the board as an 11. Who is the best celebrity golfer, Luke? Um, Dennis Quaid's pretty good, but... Um, yeah, I think there are a lot of good celebrity golfers. I think Clint Eastwood's supposed to be pretty good. Mm -hmm. I know Jack Nicholson uh, is supposed to be pretty good. I think he gives himself a lot of putts, I hear. Uh, but, yeah, doesn't put out the four-footers. Who, yeah, exactly. who is the worst celebrity golfer? Um, I think it's supposed to be Charles Barkley. That's what I hear. Yeah. But he's got a, he's, they say he has like, a, like eight different parts of his swing before he hits the ball. <laughs> David Faraday said it looks like someone trying to catch a snake in a phone booth. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, Luke, tell us what you're up to uh, in terms of your career. I know you got a movie coming out at Sundance in spring. Is that next? Yeah, that's the next movie. It's called Henry Poole is here, and it's kind of a drama. And, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to go to work on next, but, uh, yeah, I'll be looking forward to going to Sundance to open that movie. But, uh, yeah, just working on trying to write some things and trying to do some stuff with my brothers. And I imagine that uh, you guys uh, know a lot of writers uh, as well. How long can this strike go on? What do you think? Um, I'm not really sure. I mean, I just know probably the same as you. I just know what I read in the papers, but um, I know talks broke down last Friday, and it sounds like it just could go on and on. Um, I think both sides are pretty stubborn. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thanks for taking the time, and uh, Johan, we'll look for that coming up in, the, in, the, in April, you said, right? Yeah, that's it. Are we going to see you wearing the, in America anytime next year? Got any American uh, stops planned? Uh, hopefully I'll, I'll come and play the majors, but um, I'm going to focus a little bit on, on, on Europe this year, actually. But uh, uh, the majors, uh, I'll come up with some, uh, some, funny, uh, some funky stuff. Some <laughs> funky stuff to look for. Best of luck to you, except for if you make the Ryder Cup team, Johan. Thanks a lot. We appreciate it, guys. Thanks.